Hello James, welcome back to Cardelia Moon, I'm Lisa. Um, we are going to be doing a love reading from now, January, um, it's actually the 11th that I'm recording this, up until mid-February. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, around Valentine's Day, I want to do um, some sort of more in-depth special kind of love reading for all the star signs, so that's why I'm only doing it up to February time. Um, Firstly, before I start, I'd like to apologise for my absence. I went down with a cold at Christmas. Um, I don't know if any of you saw any of the videos I uploaded around Boxing Day, but my voice was going. Well, it completely went. Um, and um, as a fellow Gemini, I'm sure you can understand not being able to talk was so frustrating. But anyway, it's pretty much back now. I'm still coughing a little here and there and still sniffing a bit. But... Um, Thankfully, I am pretty much on the mend just in time for my little holiday, so that's all good. Um, bear in mind, this is a general reading. It is not going to resonate with every Gemini. Um, do feel free to check out your um, moon, rising and Venus signs as well, if you know what they are. If you don't, um, if you just put your birthday into Google and sort of say, what's my moon sign with your birthday, you'll find a whole list of sites come up that will give you um, a calculator, you know, to work them out what, what's, what's what, what your rising is, what your, you know, and what your um, moon sign is, etc, etc. So, um, I did find a really good site, and if I can find it again, I'll put it in the uh, description box below, if I remember, because I'm menopausal, so my brain just... Anyway, um, in the pre-shuffle, go. oh, also the other thing I need to say is bear in mind energies can go back and forth. If I say he, it could be she. If I say she, it could be he. You know, it works with your situation. You'll know. OK, so the cards aren't really gender specific as such. And bear in mind, like I said, the energies can reverse. So some of the energies may be your energies. Some may be whoever you're thinking about or your partner or something like that. Um, what I've been doing is I have been... Um, with these love readings, I've been letting the cards decide if we're starting on a singles reading or a couples reading, okay? So, um, obviously, um, <clears throat> meditated and pre-shuffled, and in the pre-shuffle, I had the four of wands and the page of wands come out, right? And this is strong fire energy, so you're talking uh, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, okay? Um, but the cut, see, this, this is like a, a passionate a message coming towards you or something like that could be a fire sign could could definitely be a fire sign um yeah and it's it could be a soulmate connection as well so i was going to put them back in the deck and then like start the shuffling process again in front of you guys but i i, I felt drawn to leave them there because they've jumped out together and they jumped out quite like that so I've left them there and I will now continue to shuffle and pull out the rest for the reading to see where this goes because being a Gemini myself, I'm quite curious. I am definitely quite curious to see where this goes. So, cards, can we please have... Um, sorry, my dog has been a bit of a git today. I love him. I really, really do. I love him more than life, but he's been a bit of a git today and him and the cat have been having rows. And in my previous reading, I just done areas, I had to actually get up and tell him the pair of them off right in the middle of the reading it was quite embarrassing it's like living trying to do a reading in toddler group but anyway um i think he's settled now and theo the cat has gone upstairs so um hopefully there will be no disruptions to our reading guys um okay okay yeah and we will <gasps> Oh, this could be someone you've known before. This is a wish. This is like a dream coming true. What would I can't even think of a fire sign I'm interested in. Sorry, I got all excited and selfish for a second. This is someone I feel we may already know. Oh, we know. We know to expect. We're, we're expecting this message. We got a feeling that they that they um that they want to come towards us and offer this love message, and, and we feel a connection to them already. Okay, I feel this is a singles reading, by the way, now, okay? And and this is something we've been hoping for. Now, whether it's whether we're actually hoping for it from this fire sign, whether we're actually hoping from it from this fire sign or whether we're just thinking, oh, it's time for us to settle down now and, you know, um, I'm, I'm trying to wish and, and 
you know, like, it, I want this dream to come true now. My time is now. You know what I mean? So, but like I said, a lot of fire energy. Now, bear in mind, if it isn't one of those signs that you're dealing with, it could be someone that's actually quite a passionate person. Um, they're quite, um, quite creative. They're, um, you know, when they're in the room, you know, that type of person. At a party, you, they're not hard to spot. They're very sociable. Um, they could be a little sensitive sometimes, just a little. Um, not majorly so, not enough to... But that's the sort of energy of the person we're speaking about here. If they're not one of the three signs, the Aries, uh, Leo or Sagittarius, okay? Well, give me some more because I'm really curious now. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to get another one to put this card properly into context. I feel that this is um, this is a, this is a soulmate connection, right? Okay, and I feel it's it's um, <clears throat> I don't want to say trapped because that's actually the wrong word, but it is it is a connection we are bound to if that makes sense, because I've, I've got the eight of swords, but I, I'm not seeing this as a sort of being trapped in in uh, prison energy, so to speak, or um, or feeling closed in or anything like that, because it, because it's got the star card next to it, and because of the other cards that are coming up in this reading at the moment, I feel this is more, um, because I don't know about other tarot readers, but I the, the context of the cards... Uh, the meanings of the cards can sh change for me um, with regards to the cards that are just opposed to them. You know, the, ju the, ju the juxtaposition of the cards can, um, can make quite a difference, in my opinion. A lot of spirit around today. In the, in the Aries read, um, a spirit actually came through for me to give a message to someone. And I, now I've got someone over here. It's really weird. I've, I've, there's a lot of dead around today. Bless them. If, if they come forward, if they step forward and, and there's messages for you guys, I will, I will let you know. More fire energy. And it's going to start... Oh, no. Who is this? Stop thinking yourself. Stop it. Um, yeah, more fire energy. Starting to come towards us now. Really starting to come towards us now. Okay. Bringing the Ten of Cups. Love completion, everything. Jesus. Have any, do any of you know who it is for you? If so, can you leave me a comment? Because I'm really curious as to who it might be for me. I mean, I do know, I know Leo. And I did recently think they were going to ask us back out. I wonder if it's them. Sorry, I'm just I'm so distracted now by this. But this is a great card, the Ten of Cups. That's like everything. That's like fabulous. But like I said, it could just be someone who's very passionate, quite charismatic, quite sociable, a creative sort of person. Probably work with their hands. God, it's crazy. But please let me know um, um, if this resonates with you, Gems, or if you've got a good idea who who this. Who he's talking about for you like i said it might not be one of those three energies it might be someone with those those kind of um i mean star signs it might be someone with those sort of energies now give me one more please yeah this is this is almost like a um because you, you know you've got yeah everyone has a slightly different um definition on soulmate twin flames karmic partnerships, things like that. They're, like There's all different names for them and they all have slightly different um, uh, connotations and meanings for each people, for each person. But this this relationship we're talking about here, this one, this one that's coming in soon, you know, and I feel there's already been some communication, but this, this is, whether you want to call it soulmate, twin flame, Karmic partnership or something. There is there is a bond between between you guys. There is there is a bond, and you may not have seen it as twin flame karmic partnership, uh, soul soulmate or something like that. This might actually blindside you a little bit. 
I feel, yeah, I, feel, I do feel this might blindside you a little bit because th this person's going to present themselves again and all of a sudden you're going to go, oh, fuck, it's you. I spent my whole life wondering or waiting who my soulmate was, who my twin flame was, who my karmic partner was, and it never dawned on me it was you. You know, this is if this is someone you've, you've known before. Though I do, like I said, I do feel there's already a bond between you. I don't feel this is someone... I don't feel that, oh my God, and we've got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I mean, sorry guys, but to, oh, then the sun. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I'm totally blown away. I mean, look, <clears throat> so this is, this Ten is like, you know, in, 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 the, in the love reading, okay. In the love reading, this is like, you know, real stable relationship. You know, um, equality, financial stability, abundance, everything. This is emotional abundance, love abundance. Um, oh, my God, I can't believe it. And then the sun at the bottom. This is everything. This is, as you can see, look, it's got a wheel here. OK, it's got this wheel here and it's got ev every um, horoscope on it, every star sign on it. Right. So all of those energies that those star signs represent. Now, bearing in mind, you've got your earth, your air, your your fire, your water energies. OK. And then you've got within them, each of them star sign, each. Within each four elements, each of the three star signs are either fixed, mutable or, or cardinal. Do you know what I mean? So it's um, it's everything. Do you know what I mean? It is everything. All, all the amazing energies, the amazing abundance, the amazing love, the amazing passion, the amazing uh, way you create your relationship together and everything. All, all of that is in the sun card. So look, I mean, Jesus. Jesus, guys. I feel like I need to pin my pants. That is just amazing. That is just so, so amazing. I am so, and it is... Fuck. Sorry, excuse my swearing, but I am so blown away by that. You know what, I'm going to leave it on that because I don't think it could get any better than that. I'm going to leave it on that for us singles. And, um, shit. I'll tell you what, if, if you've watched this, right, and, and, you know, like I said, I don't feel it is someone new, but it may be someone you don't know that well, okay? I don't feel it's someone new, but if... If you feel any of this is resonating or anything like that with you guys or, you know, you go out and you meet someone who you may have seen in passing through town or whatever. Do you know what I mean? And and this and you feel this is starting to unfold. For God's sake, let me know. Because I'd, I'd um, tell me in the comments below because I would love to know how this, pan, you know, how this pans out. But this is leading up to February. So good. We'll get flowers and chocolates. So that's good. I love chocolate. Wow, guys, I am blown away by that. I'm absolutely blown away by that. That is outstanding. And it's coming soon. Well, I'm doing up to mid-February anyway, but it's coming soon. But I feel, I still feel this is someone we may not have thought could have been that type of person within our life. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to stop swearing in a minute. I feel really buzzed today. I think those cold meds are finally coming out of my system. And um, the neurotic me is returning. I can't believe that reason. I'm so excited. So excited. Like, I can't even shuffle the cards now. I'm that excited. Okay, couple gems. Couple, couple, couple gems. That spirit's still over there, by the way, but they're hanging back. So I don't think they are for any of us. Any of us gems, guys. I think they're probably waiting for another star sign. Lots of spirit activity today. Loads and loads. Okay, cards. My beautiful cards and my beautiful guides. Can I please have um, some cards for our coupled Geminis? Those in a relationship, married, living with someone. From now until mid-February, please. Please, please, please. Okay. Okay, that's good. Your energy to start with, that's good. Good, good, good. You're quite happy. You're surveying everything around you. 
You seem to be in your element, I believe. Gemini couples. Hang on. Okay, okay. Hang on. Mm. Have you had to give someone some words recently? Have you had to have a few words with someone? Someone's been telling porcupines and you've had to pull them up on it. You're not that stressed about it though, I feel. I feel you're, you're um, maybe a child or someone younger than you, possibly. And I feel you've... Um, I feel it's big, a big lie. They've tried to pull the wall over. Yeah, they've definitely tried to pull the wall over you guys. And you, you've not... <clears throat> you've not been too sure how to deal with it. But I feel you've, I feel you've done it fine. I feel you've dealt with it fine. Okay. All right, so some of you gems that are, that are in a relationship... I, I still feel it's someone younger than you. So it, it could be one of your kids. It could be um, a younger sibling. It's, I believe it's someone within, it's definitely someone within the family unit. I'm pretty sure about that. And it's created um, some um, arguments within the family unit. Okay. I don't feel it was a major lie though. I don't, I don't feel it was a big, a huge, huge, I mean, I could be wrong. But I don't, I'm not feeling it, but it has created arguments within the family. Okay, and it's left, it's left someone feeling like they're on their own. Someone is feeling very cut off now with regards to this, and they're, and they're like, where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Now, this could be you, this could be your significant other, this could be uh, a situation that's going on within the family unit that um, you guys are trying to deal with, or maybe you and your partner are trying to deal with as a team. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be all right. A lot of your energy here, though. I feel, so I feel this is probably you having to deal with all of this. And, it, and, it, and I, feel like you're, I feel like you're the one who's had to be the spokesperson. You're the one who's had to be at the forefront. And, and this is creating... I don't think you've done the wrong thing. I don't think you've done the wrong thing at all by, by opening up and speaking and and being the one that steps out and says, no, like this has to stop or this isn't acceptable or, or, or something along them lines. It's going to transpire. It's going to be all right. You're, you're definitely going to be okay. Let me see. Um... This, is like fa this is like family squabbles. I'll tell you, cards, let me know, give me, give me a rough idea how this is going to pan out or, or some messages to, as to where to go from here with regards to this situation. Because I feel like you've, it's like, what do I do now? You know, I, do, I don't think you've done the wrong thing. Well, I never think it's wrong to be clear and concise and honest. I never think that, you know, and... Um, Sorry, just going back to that single reading for a minute. Sandra said to me, it might be you that approaches the fire sign or the person with that energy. Just going back to the singles reading for a second. It might be you that makes the approach towards that, that person with those energies that I was talking about. It might be you that makes the first move. That's just come through to me. Sorry, back to our couples. Thank you. Too many. So that did just flash the nine cups at me. So it is going to be all right. It's, you know, it's it, it will. In fact, I think a few members in the family are going to be saying, "No, actually, I'm pleased you stood up and spoke. It's it's about time someone did, you know." And I'm I'm, I'm pleased you, or or they're going to say something along the lines of, "Yes, it's about time you opened up about that. It's about time you you turned around and went, no, enough, enough, you know." And I feel, I feel a few people are going to, um, yeah. Yeah, I think you've done what you need to do. I think it's time just to chill now. Give me one more. 
yeah just relax now you've done what you've done what you need what you needed to do all right and and, and i don't see it being bad it's just let me just stop it. yeah and you're this is telling me okay it's the king of cups but it's telling me your conscience should be clear okay so if any of you have been feeling like oh shit maybe i've done the wrong thing done your conscience your conscience is clear in this in this this family family or close you know i mean i'm saying family and i do feel it is family and i do feel it's someone younger than you so it could be niece nephew child or something like that younger siblings something along them lines i do feel it's that or it might be you might have um you and your partner might have a very 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 close friend and you see them as um part of your family and it's one of their kids or something along them lines but you have basically stood up and said enough not you're not doing it you know you've done this this is wrong do you think that behavior has been appropriate you know however you said it it has created an imbalance and arguments within this unit okay but and i know this is a love reading and normally it should be about your couples but i feel i feel this is such this is why i feel this is such a close family it's it's very close and i feel it has had an effect on on your home life do you know what I mean? And sometimes love readings will just go straight to home life. And I feel it has had, but but you have done, yeah, but like I said, your, your conscience should be clear. I don't see any reason as to why. It's, it's just time to rest, rest and relax now. Do you know what I mean? Don't let it, just just let it go now. It's, it's, it's done. It's been said. Give me one more, just one more message. I'm going to cut the deck for one more message. Yeah, it's going to, it's fine. You've got the Ten of Pentacles completion it's a completion card basically so um yeah it's done it's done and dusted if, if you're still worrying about this so this is still rolling over in your head just let it go now because it, it's it is done and dusted it's fine it is it is gonna it's all gonna settle down and be fine you know and like i said i don't think you were wrong to do that i don't think you were wrong to do that at all no, just because i don't feel that was very i mean it was I'm doing a love reading, the cards know that, but I just feel that, mind you, we love our homes. I just want to get, um, I'm just going to ask for a couple of cards for you couples to see how things are just between you and your significant other, okay? Because I, I don't feel that was like a, a real love reading, if that makes sense, if you know what I mean, it is a bit wasn't. Okay, it's showing me where you guys have been juggling this situation together. They're showing me that. So I feel you, I feel, I feel there might have been a united front from you guys on this. Hang on one more, please. Still talking about the situation, it's really bizarre. One more, come on my lovelies, one more please. Okay, 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 I've got it, I've got, I've got it. Was, I'm just wondering, was this situation, because it's still going on about this situation, was this situation, did someone take money? Was it to do with money? Or it could have been an earth sign, a Capricorn Virgo or um, Taurus. But it's moving on. I, I, in fact, if it was someone that took money in this situation, um, it, it is going to be paid back. It is going to be paid back. I hope it wasn't your partner. Maybe your partner's younger than you, and, and this situation happened between you and your partner. Because then I'm asking about, you know, you saw I asked the cards. I'm like, you know, let me know how things are going between Gemini and their partner at the moment. And um, the money's going to get paid back, though, if if... If it is a money situation or, or the money is definitely going to be paid back. If it is um, the f some other sort of lying deceit or something and you've had to put your foot down about it, this person is, it has listened. They have taken what you said on board and it is definitely, definitely going to improve. But now I'm wondering if it was your partner that done this and maybe your partner's younger than you or maybe they're not physically younger than you. Maybe you're the more mature one in the relationship. Maybe it's something along them lines. Or maybe they're a bit lost at the moment and they're, they're, so their inner child is presenting more, you know? 
but the thing is it is it is resolved it is resolved or resolving currently resolving and will be resolved by mid by mid february guys all right okay my lovelies that's it i've done singles i've done yep i'm ahead of the game okay um so that is your reading gemini's i hope it resonated with you and um, if you liked this video please hit the like button it's down there somewhere i can never remember what side it is um if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe to my current subscribers thank you for always being here and supporting my channel it really really means a lot to me um, if you'd like to be notified when I upload any other videos or anything like that, please hit the bell icon. Again, somewhere down there. Um, and yes, bear in mind, like I said, energies can go one way or the other. And don't forget to check out your moon, your rising and your Venus signs. All right, and single Gemini's, I'm so excited. I might have to have a cigarette now to calm myself back down. Um, okay, my lovelies, that was for you. Hopefully, I will see you all um, around Valentine's Day when I'm going to do something fabulous, I hope, for you all. Um, until then, you have a great day, and I will see you soon. And thanks again, as always, for dropping by. Take care. Bye.